waiting has taken its toll on me. Oh no. <gasps> yes! I hate iOS. I mean, it doesn't even let you sail the seven seas. Of course, there are methods like side loading apps, so I've heard, or jailbreaking the device if possible, so I've heard. But you know which operating system skips all of that? Red Star OS. Oh, and Android. The latter is what we're going to install on this iPad. Sorry, Kim. No delicious private data today. It already is jailbroken. Done. I failed. What do you need to install Android? That's right, Android. Android x86 if you want to be more accurate. Now you might have some questions, like why am I doing this? It's cause it's fun. But the other question is, what is Android x86? Excellent question. It is Android made for PCs, because most PCs have an x86 processor and some cool guy, three cool guys, have developed Android for PCs. Which makes this whole thing possible, cause UTM emulates PC operating systems like Windows, which are all x86 based, which makes it easier to emulate Android on an iPad. So you three guys, thank you. We're gonna install the latest version, which is 9.0. Might be a little too much for this iPad, which already has two gigabytes to begin with. And when emulating, we're gonna have to use even less cause if we're using too much, it simply crashes, which already happened in the last video where I installed Windows on UTM. Yes, sir. Right, this took far too long for a file, which is not even a gigabyte. But we move and here's a Windows file from last time. I'm not gonna mention the name of this file because I've heard it can be dangerous on this platform. Launch UTM with JIT support. That sounds like something else. You know, from here we need to launch UTM with JIT, which I haven't done last time when I installed Windows, which was a mistake. We have more opportunities. We have some more power. American muscle on this thing with JIT. Such a weird word. Think Linux. There you are, buddy. Okay, uh, boot from kernel image. I'm not sure. Uh, whatever. Oh, there are extra things I have to set up if I check this box, so no thank you. Let's continue. Yes, uh, let's give it one gigabyte. It's risky. It could very easily crash that way, but let's try. Oh, this is something I couldn't do last time I installed Windows because I didn't launch UTM with JIT. Let's enable it. We could do some gaming on Android with hardware acceleration enabled. Cool. Um, let's give it 15. I don't think it has 15 gigabyte space available, but who cares? We're living life here, man. We're risking some shit. Uh, no, not necessary yet. Let's delete this one so we have some more free space. Okay, everything seems fine. Let's launch it. Alright, I'm very thrilled. Oh, we're off to a good start here. Um, yeah. Damn, booting in light mode. What does that mean? Does it mean it works? Display output is not active. I don't think it means that it works, which is bad. Uh, let's reboot it. There you are. Uh, let's try again. Boom. Okay, it wasn't active. Now it is. What we launched the live debug mode. Oh, that's what we had done before. Stupid me. But we go to the installation. Oh man, look how slow it is. Reacting a whole second after I press on the button. Okay. Oh no. What is this supposed to mean? It means that the display output is not active. Gotta look up what I can do about this. <laughs> GitHub, my beloved, told me to change the GPU to this. I hope GitHub is correct. Help me in many cases. Let's hope this is one of them. Uh oh, not a good start. Now it's black. Whoa, this is different than before, which might be a good thing. Let's launch the live version, see if it even works. But we're off to a good start. This is gonna work. No, I really have to be quiet sometimes. Isn't that so bad, man? Okay, this one also doesn't seem to be working, so we're gonna have to try another GPU. GitHub also told me to pick Virtio VGA. Let's pick Virtio VGA GL because we have hardware acceleration. This is worse than when I was in NAM and returned to America. Everyone hates at me. <coughs> 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 Never gonna change my voice again. What about now? Are you the correct GPU? Yes, sir. Life version. Look at Batman right here. Observing the whole thing. Oh, we might be getting somewhere. This is a good sign. The same thing it said on the PC I once installed Android x86 on. What do you think, Batman? Is it gonna be stuck on here? Shut the fuck up. I've been stuck here for a long time. Not good. Ugh. Guess I'm gonna wait for a while now. It might just take a long time. I know this message all too well. Not for a good reason. Is it gonna crash? Please don't crash. Just boot. 
police. Guess what happened? It did not crash. Well, installing it on an iPad with 2GB of RAM might be a bigger challenge than I expected. But don't you dare think I give up because of setbacks. This whole channel is built on setbacks. Is this one gonna make me quit? No! Okay, maybe, but not yet. We're gonna have to download an older version. That's the solution, trust me. So 9.0, you're out of the picture. You know what? Let's go down, down. You know, Android 4.4. Going from Android 9 to Android 4, that's quite the leap. It's a leap, we're gonna have to jump over. Did, did that make sense? I, I hope it did. The older version is finished installing. Yuppie, I guess I'm supposed to be happy now. Android 9.0, more like Android 9.0. No. Everything's set up as previously, but so it works. Through a great sign that it looks like this. Extremely stripped down of every graphical interface. Windows? Why does it say Windows? There, there is no Windows. Only Linux. Put the live version first. Now it's stuck here. Uh, hello, hello, hello. I don't think me repeatedly saying hello will change anything. Come on, come on, guys. I'm starting to lose hope. Stuck on here. Let's change the emulated graphics card to this. I used this previously on Android 9.0. It didn't work, but Maybe it'll work here. Maybe. Just maybe, you know. Boom. And I love seeing this interface. The simpleness of it. Hold on. Why, why does it say Ubuntu? Probably some Linux shenanigans that I have no idea of. But you can comment below what it means. If you want to. For engagement. No. Not working. Fantastic. Isn't that lovely, Batman? Told you to shut the fuck up. Damn, man. By the way, I'm not schizophrenic, guys. Let's try the standard one. Let's hope it works with this. Another boom. Five booms. What is wrong now? Oh great. Just great. This display card doesn't seem to be working. Very evidently. Let's change the display card to the one I've used before. Because I don't learn from my mistakes. And you shouldn't either. Boom. Here we go again. Oh, no. That's not what I wanted to press. Ah, it's stuck again. Who would have thought? 4.4 doesn't work. So what are we gonna do next? We don't do upgrades on this channel. Yet another distro falling victim to this iPad's incompetence. Android 4.3 is set up. Once again, full of excitement, I launch Android on this iPad. Oh, now the UEFI shell appears. Never happened before. I see it's probably because this one is older, so we're gonna have to disable UEFI shell. Off you go, you annoying bitch. I didn't mean that. I'm sorry, UEFI shell. I think we've been here before. But let's see where it goes. Let's put the live CD again. Everything is white. Why is everything white? Not in a racist way. Detecting Android x86 found at dev sr0. So it found Android x86, which I assume is a good thing. It's been stuck here for a while now. It's always a good sign for things to come. <laughs> I said come. Android. Are you gonna do something? Android. Because I feel like you're not gonna do anything. Android. Root x86. Uh, that probably means something. I have yet to find out what that is though. I probably recognize a pattern here because I will probably have to wait a while until this launches, if it does at all. It's not doing anything. What if I type in a command start? I think that's a Linux command where you, you know, start something. Oh cool, we started root x86. Something that wasn't the case before. Don't think it's gonna do anything. On this screen, we're gonna have to type in these commands. X4s, you know, from Deadpool. These commands supposedly disable hardware acceleration, with which sometimes makes it possible to boot. All we can do is try, okay? No controller found. This is nothing new. It's getting repetitive. Call me impatient, but waiting has taken its toll on me. Because as you can hear from my voice, I don't think I've ever been this enthusiastic. Oh, hello, Root x86. I've been missing you. How's Jared? Okay, 4.3 is not gonna work either, but I found something better. Some legend designed Android 9.0 for UTM. The fact that this is specifically designed for UTM makes me pretty optimistic. I think this might work. So, uh, UTM team, thank you for this. Another Linux distro down the drain. There it is. Everything's already set up. We just need to launch it and hope it works. Oh, it's already installed. Just launch, please. I that's all I'm asking for. The screen's become a bit smaller. Oh no. Always 
a pleasure seeing this error message. No! Are you kidding me? I guess we're gonna have to decrease the RAM a tiny bit. Even this is too much. Are you, are you what? I don't care. Wait, 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 don't, don't, don't do anything. Okay, what if we launch debug no mode set? Cause that's the same command I typed in previously on Android 4.3. Oh, interesting. A lot of words that don't matter because I can't read. Did you get the joke? That was funny because I actually can read. Very interesting. And now I type exit to continue booting. With pleasure, my friend. Does it say exit? It says sit. I love the iPad's keyboard. Now it says nothing. Now it says exit. Just the way I wanted it to. Type exit to enter Android. We're, we're getting very close. Guys, is this it? Oops. What does it say? Exit. Great. I think we're getting somewhere. I think we really are. What a voice crack. Ethernet driver. So we might have Ethernet on an iPad which has no ethernet port. Everything but launching, man. Anyone asks you what Linux is like, just show him this. Sir, there's another error message. <sighs> launch operation firestore no oh please keep going just keep going please i thought it crashed why don't you just keep going why don't you just lo <gasps> okay it 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 keeps going very slowly keep keep going please even if it takes a whole day just keep going that's a whole lot of something for a whole lot of nothing i love linux what does this mean the numbers mason what do they mean so it's just gonna stay this way after all this waiting this is all we're gonna get really that's fantastic wait something changed now the screen's black no way w no way this is the closest we've been to android on an ipad <gasps> the screen's black again what what happens now this has been taking really long <laughs> my enthusiasm is decreasing that was a waiting beatbox. I do that whenever I wait. I don't know if you can see it, but just look at the speed of how the light on the Android logo is moving. One frame per minute. I don't think this is ever gonna boot. I mentioned that I don't do upgrades. Look, I tried Android 4.0. Before that, I tried Android 4.2. I tried to go down because Android 9.0 just wouldn't launch. It was stuck on the Android logo, as you can see here. So I had to go down as far as Android 2.2. That's where we are. Isn't that sad, Batman? That's barely visible. Shut the fuck up. Gonna have to press the trigger. Where is the trigger? Where is it? I, it's here. Here's the trigger, Batman. I need this to work. I need to run Android on this. Please just work. Okay, at least it's launching. Look how positive I am. It's a bit different than the usual stuff. That can't be denied. No controller found. That can't be denied either. <gasps> what does that mean? Oh, this again. I should have known. <sighs> Look guys, I don't know how much longer I can take this. It's taken toll on my mental health. I don't even know what what to say anymore. <gasps> yes, yes! <laughs> Let us not get ahead of ourselves. It could still not work. Let's be patient. Yes! Yes! Fire the leaf! Yes! Did it! We did it! Look how old this looks! But I don't care! We did it! It's with a cursor for some reason. Probably because it's for PCs. I'll take anything at this point. Lots! We did it! We are on Android on an iPad. How do I get past the lock screen? Uh, hello. Ah, there we go. Don't you crash on me now. Oh. I think if this iPad was a bit better, we could run even newer versions of Android. I don't care. I'm gonna take this. What can we do with this? I wouldn't expect a lot considering the fact that it already lags just moving the cursor, even though it's a 12 year old version of Android. Let's boot the app store. See what this has in store for us. Wow, look at the amount of apps we can install. Crazy stuff. Did Android not have a Play Store in version 2.2? My voice voice is fading away. It's the happiness and the excessive screaming from before. Browser. We're gonna have to browse the internet if it's even possible. Web page not available. Data connectivity problem. A secure connection could not be established. No worries, mate. Uh, you wouldn't believe how slow it is. Or you should believe it because you can see it right here. Let's Google something. Let me Google. Let's Google my channel name. Kind of having deja vu from my first video where I installed Android x86. Hack and Jash. Changing my channel name, guys. It's Hack and Jash. Hey, it actually works. We can actually browse the internet. Uh, how do I scroll though? Can I use the keyboard to do that? Yeah, I can. Search instead for Hack and Josh. Yes, sir. 
Yes sir, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. Look, there's my channel. Oh fuck off. What do you want? I don't want to build the certificate. I don't care. There we go. Speed, man. Speed. It's so little. I get a need for speed. Huh, it crashed. That was to be expected. This looks like a game. The last thing we do is gaming. Is this a game? I hope so. We're gonna try it out. Audio engine demo. But looks like a game, so I'll take it. There we go, it's a game. Guys, we gaming on Android. On an iPad. This is more gaming than on Windows 95 on my PS3 video. Yeah, I dodged it. I think. I don't know. I... How, how does this even work? Oh, I lost. I got zero. That's too bad. I think this is a good point to wrap it up. I lost in the game, but I won in life. This was a lot of fun, and I have more in store. You won't believe what I've got recently. This is the craziest PC I've ever seen. And if it doesn't look crazy, this is my hand for scale. Look how huge it is. And I have some plans with it. And the craziest part is, it was for free. Subscribe, like, whatever else there is. If you want to see what I do with it, thank you very much for